Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this webinar we are going to take a look at different types of VMDK files. Uh, this provisioning type doesn't affect performance. Is it true or is it false? Let's take a look at the different types that are available when adding a disk to a virtual machine. First of all we have eager zero thick disks. They, uh, those disks are uh, written to zero and the space allocated is completely zeroed out. You can create such a disk with the vSphere client of with, also with VMKFS tools and uh, it takes some time before the disk is ready but eventually you will have something and the use case is a quorum disk for Microsoft clustering services but you can also use it as a uh, disk for full torrents and maybe you should use it for all your virtual machines later more information about that the other disk that is default when you are creating a virtual machine is the lazy zero thick disk this disk uh, is pretty fast when you want to create it all the space is provisioned on forehand it's not written to zero you can create such a disk with the vSphere client of with VMKFS tools and uh, it's good for most cases but we are going to do some speed measurements later on the third disk is the thin disk the thin disk is really cool because you can over provision storage uh, you have to monitor your data your data stores otherwise if a data store runs full you will have virtual machines that are locked that are stalled and they don't run anymore they are not powered off but they are simply frozen until a uh, new space is available on the data store um, you can create it in this with the vSphere client or also with Fame KFS tools. Uh, it's pretty fast if you want to create it and it will grow uh, in size depending on what is used in the guest OS. So I have a nice uh, visualization. Um, first of all, when you are looking at thick provisioned lazy zero disks, then the VMDK file is created uh, when the virtual machine is created or when the disk is attached and when the virtual machine itself, so the guest OS within the virtual machine is writing blocks, the blocks are written to zero and then the guest OS can write information to the VMDK file. So the VMDK file has the initial size but only the blocks are allocated while uh, writing, this, writing data to the, to the VMDK file. The TIM provision disk is pretty small, it's depending on the size of, uh, of the guest OS, what's actually used within the guest OS, and the VMDK file will grow with the size used in uh, the guest OS until it's uh, completely allocated and all the blocks are used within the virtual machine. But be careful, TIM provision disks can lead to over provisioning, and over provisioning can lead to uh, a full data store. So the last option is the TIC provision eager zero disk and the blocks are already written to zero and when the guest OS wants to write data within a block the block is simply filled with data and uh, you don't have to write or allocate zeros uh, before writing data to the VMDK file anymore. So those are pretty nice VMDK files. Um, what I did is that I created a test environment and within the test environment, uh, this test environment, I have an eOmega Store Center PX6 with six disks uh, in it. I have created a virtual machine with Windows 2008 R2, four gigs of MEM, one virtual CPU, hardware version 9. I'm hosting this virtual machine on vSphere 5.1. There's a single one gigabit Ethernet card in my ESX host and the ESX host is attached to a Cisco 2960 switch and the MTU size is 1500. So in theory this connection can hold 112 MBs per second but, and also the eOmega is capable of doing 112 MBs per second so let's take a look uh, what the different disks can do for us. I have created two Snap two screenshots. The first screenshot right here is a screenshot from uh, the new web client and what we see here is that we have a virtual machine with a system disk of 40 gigabytes. A disk 2 is a 10 gigabyte disk which is Tim provisioned lazy zeroed. Disk 3 which is 11 gigabytes is Tim provisioned and disk 4 which is 12 gigabytes is TIC provisioned eager zeroed. When you are adding a disk to a virtual machine you can choose what type of disk it must be. So when I 
add an additional disk to this virtual machine, you can choose between the three types. What I did is that I uh, fired up my favorite benchmarking tool called HD Tune Pro, and HD Tune Pro is able to do uh, right benchmarking. And the benchmark is done uh, first of all with the Tick Provision Lazy Zero disk. And what we see here, it's that it's 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 around 15 MB per second. And the latency is pretty high, it's 44.8 milliseconds. So this disk is not that fast and a latency above 20 milliseconds is also not that good. So uh, I'm a bit worried about this disk. This is the Tick Provision Lazy Zero disk, which comes as a default with every new virtual machine. So in the second test, I'm testing a Tim Provision disk. Uh, we see um, yeah, about the same figures, 13.7 MBs per second and an access time of uh, uh, 46.8 uh, milliseconds. Thin disks can be a little bit slower than lazy disks because thin disks also have to grow the VMDK file and it's, uh, it, it, it means that there is some locking on, uh, on, on the LUN. So thin provision disks can be a little bit fall a little bit behind uh, when you compare them to lazy disks. But the last one is most interesting is the TIC Provision Eager Zero TIC disk. And what we see here is nearly 90 MBs per second with an access time of under 10 milliseconds. So this is, this is pretty fast uh, and if you have for instance an Exchange server or an SQL server with an application that is demanding lots of new blocks, lots of new space, then you will definitely uh, gain a performance benefit if you are using Tick Provision Eager Zero Tick Discs. So this is only on first write. If I'm going back to this virtual machine and I'm doing a second attempt to benchmark the throughput and all the blocks are allocated, then a lazy disk, disk and a thin disk will become as fast as an Eager Zero Tick Disc. So only on first access the disks lazy and thin are very slow compared to ES zero. So if we make the comparison, then we see that Tick Provision Lazy Zero disks uh, can do an average uh, write of 13.3, and this is one is a little bit faster, but it also counts in when you do the measurement, and they are about as fast. Uh, only the thin disks uh, have some extra locking when they grow because the VMBK file has to grow. And uh, the thick disk is pretty fast, nearly 19 MBs per second with an access time under 10 milliseconds. So again, if you have an application that is writing a lot of data and you have to provision a lot of new blocks to that virtual machine, thick provision Eager Zero thick disks are the way to go. If you have created a virtual machine in the past and you want to migrate thin or lazy to thick, then you can use Storage Vmotion because Storage Vmotion uh, contains a wizard and it lets you choose what the target, uh, the target type, the target provisioning type uh, must be. So you can jump from thin to tick or from tick to thin or from eager zero tick to thin. That doesn't matter. So if you have a server that can benefit of eager zero tick disks and it's still running on thin or lazy disks, then you have the option to change uh, the type of disk when you are initiating a storage fee motion. So the myth is busted. Thin and lazy disks uh, are, are about the same speed. Once allocated, these, these disks are as fast as zeroed disks and thick provision eager zeroed thick disks offer better performance from first right on. Eric Sloof is signing off. Bye bye. Another myth is busted.